What's up guys? So today I'm gonna brought the battery charger. I'm gonna put it on the truck, charge up the battery. This uh, tire is flat. So I brought the compressor. I'm gonna put some air. So today I'm gonna go ahead and just start it. I haven't started this truck in a good while. Um, I don't use it. Last time, I actually just, uh, not just, but like last time I had renewed the tags and I used it about two times and that was it so today I'm gonna go ahead and charge the battery because it is super dead go ahead and shut this guy off so the battery is dead so I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery charger starter up uh, I hope it starts it's been parked I don't know close to a year and they stole my gas tank no, it's down there oh it doesn't have a cap either. I hope no water went in there. No, I don't think so. Uh, the the hose is bent right there and it was off to the side and whatever water went down there. I hope, that's what I'm hoping. Um, if it doesn't start, usually it's just like um, the fuel pump that w goes bad. Let me go ahead and open up the hood right here. So this is my 01 Silverado. Oh yeah. This is my 2001 Silverado. Um, this is an LQ4 6.0. That little top cover doesn't belong there. I put it there because, well, there's a story behind this. I had actually, I had actually got rid of this truck. This was, this is my truck, of course, but at the beginning. You know, I did all the paint and everything I wanted to do with it. I got bored of this truck. It is the only one here. Um, I'm I'm just gonna say RGV um, because I you know I haven't seen one. I know there's one like further up in the states. I'm pretty sure, but check this out. It's a four door with the step side. So yeah, I was pretty happy about being the only one. I did this swap like the conversion right there with the tow bed. Um, I am missing a few wires, wires for the coils. Uh, that's when the Tahoe over there, um, I thought I had a misfire and I took off some of the plugs from here, the, the wires, and I'm uh, going to put those right now. I'm just going to go ahead and charge this battery. It was also new, um, but it is completely dead, so it's not going to crank got dual fans right there electric some cheap old ones from ebay um but yeah that's that's my plan for today at least put the battery charger uh charge up the battery crank this bad boy see if it's gonna start see what it needs uh my plans for this guy is just take out the engine and transmission along with the whole wiring harness and the computer and swap it into something else uh, this is really cool truck this paint job I did it myself along with many paint jobs that I've done I'm not a professional in any way I just do these at home but I'm pretty happy with you know some of the work that I do um, I get a lot of comments positive and negative so of course obviously I only I only listen to the positive comments and uh, I just ignore the negatives but yeah this is my bad boy right here her name was Vexy. So we're gonna see if we can start Vexy up today. I'm gonna move her around. And I don't know if it drives. We'll probably take it out for a Alright, so it's off. We're gonna do a slow charge for now. Um, did it pick up some charge? Did it do anything? Barely. So we're gonna leave it slow charging for a minute and then come back, check it out. If not, we'll just boost it into rapid charge or an engine start. But yeah, for now, we're going to do the slow charge. I had also forgot I took off one of the coils. I just put it back though. Um, so I'm missing three wires, which I have some right here. I have three right here. This one's good. Uh, these other two are missing the metal clip from inside, the one that clips onto the spark plug. But I'm just going to still just put them in there, see if they're going to work. If not, I have the other used wires over at the garage in town I'll just take a trip into town and bring them 
But for now, let's go ahead and try these. Check it out. These shorter wires just fit great. It's just the perfect size. It makes a, a 90 right here and then straight to the coil. And these other ones, uh, the wire comes out straight out and you know, I have to curve it up to the coils, but they're back installed. Let's go ahead and give it a crank. All right, so inside the truck, I see some lights on already, so I know it is charging, but it's still just a little bit of charge. So I'm gonna switch it over to engine start over here. And um, that way I don't use up all the, all the charge. So this is gonna be the first crank, first crank. Let me just check if the fuel pump. Let's check if the fuel pump is gonna turn on. I heard it. It sounded weird, but I heard it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Let's move the wires. All right. I see what's happening. I need to get a better ground every time I switch it over to uh, engine start. All right, so there was a spark, so that means it's not passing good contact. So um, I'm gonna grab this and uh, put it somewhere better. All right, this one should work. Heavy. It cranked, but it's heavy. All right, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave it fast charging uh, so it can get some more charge. The battery is really, really down. So even if I put it on engine boost, um, it's pretty heavy to crank. Uh, it does spin freely. I just turned it with my hands and it does move. Um, so there's nothing wrong right there. I checked the oils and you know, it does have oil. It needs an oil change, but it has oil. So it's just the battery and I don't think it's charging like that. So um, hmm. take off the wires and connect the charger directly to the battery. All right, that's enough rapid charge. Let's put it up and boost and crank it. Hopefully this time should do something better. Uh, here we go. Yeah. I did three rotations, but pretty heavy. So that battery is pretty dead. Might need to replace it or something. Gonna leave it in rapid charge for a while. So I'll see you guys in half an hour. Yeah. All right, guys. So. I think things are going pretty good considering uh, the truck has been parked for a very long time. I'm going to say just almost a year. Not even cranking it here and there. Nothing at all. Uh, I thought the engine was going to be seized. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know. It's just, I, I just thought it was going to be seized. And another thing, the fuel pump. Uh, the fuel pump is just one of those things that if you just don't use it and it's inside gas like or without gas or whatever They just get stuck. So that was another thing, but luckily I, I do hear the fuel pump and The engine is rotating now the gas is another thing uh, That has been in there and I don't think it has that much, but whatever fuel it has inside the gas tank I'm sure it's very very bad. So it, if the truck starts it's gonna have a like a, a rough idle but hey if it starts hey, that's a very positive thing uh, but so far things are looking pretty good also the tires like I just put air and they seem to be holding air so that's pretty good also so we're just waiting on that battery to get some charge that way we can crank it and you know see if it's gonna start but All right, so I did spray just a little bit of B12 through the uh, throttle body just to help it start it. 
So here we go. Oh, there it is. She's alive. She's alive. Oh, look at that radio. Oh, she's alive. She's alive. <laughs> Damn. It's been a minute since I heard my Bexy just on. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a 6.0. Um, that little cover up the top is earlier 5.3, I guess. Another exhaust leak. Yeah. Guess those exhaust leaks like me. The engine sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, so what's next? Let's turn this off. Good. All right, she's on her own. She's got air, all four tires. Inside here, oh, power steering. Oh. All right, we're in, we'll figure it out. Uh, <clears throat> adjusting seat. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's the power steering. Got some issues there. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to move this around for a bit. Check the oil. We'll see. Oh, I got a lot of gas. I'm just kidding. Some of the gauges are messed up. Look at the battery voltage. Uh, it's overheating already. And yeah, some of the gauges don't work. But, all right, let me see what I can do about this and just uh, look at the truck just for a minute. See if we could take her out. Let's check out the exhaust over here in the back. Power steering. The electric fans, I remember that I had installed them to the rear window defrost. So they only turn on for a few minutes. Or no, they don't. Are they just use a relay? Um or is it the AC? Let me check. Um, no. I'm pretty sure it was the rear window AC, unless I moved it. You know what? 
I'm surprised the truck is running fine with these wires over here all messed up. Uh, the electric fans are not turning on. Uh, here's all the wiring for them. I don't know if I'm missing anything in here or let me see if I, if I had something else. Uh, no. Yep, something's wrong with them. There's the power. The power, ground, and remote. Oh, what about the remote? It's in the white one. The remote is this one here. Oh, look at this. Yep, I must have pinched it. Yep, here it is. Oh, the, the rats. All right, so what is this? Remote is a, uh, oh, that's ground. I need a positive, I need a positive. All right, so let me hook this up to a positive real quick. Wear it right here. They are spinning, but. There they are, both of them on. We're good. All right, so I guess one of the rats had a had shoot up this wire, so I'm just gonna peel this wire just a little bit back and just tie it right here on this nut and this screw. Uh, leave them on direct, and we'll see about uh, trying to drive it. Oh, I guess this is the rear window defrost relay. Oops, and I had just, oops, and I had just got the power wire, the trigger wire, I guess, uh, from that one, and um, that's what I used to turn on the electric fans for the radiator up here. So right now, I just hooked it up directly right here to the power wire that comes to the battery. So they're on. I'm gonna close up the hood and just like that's fine. Woo. Yes, Bexy. She's running. She sounds beautiful. Man, I wish I I sort of wish I'd just be driving this truck in the street again. I mean this is this is what you call built, not bought. I mean, it might be a piece of cheese to most, but to me, hey, I built this. All right, guys, so who's ready for a little test drive? Let's see the power steering. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really excited, really excited. Radio, who we got auxiliary, uh, Pioneer Radio. Uh, we'll figure that out and uh, some napkins ew deserve some cleaning all right all right look at all those snails All right, so I can't really know for sure how much gas I have, so I can't. So I'm not gonna go out into the street and, you know, get risk st being stranded out in the street. I've got nobody to call right now, so. Right, let's go ahead and try it. She's got uh, an exhaust leak. Okay. Brakes are a bit tough. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to check the brake fluid because it's pretty difficult. Just right here, we're good. Oh, no brakes, <laughs> no brakes. All right. Oh shit, no brakes. All right, look. Look at the brakes though. I'm like slamming on the brakes. It's low. I mean, there's still some resistance to the brakes. Um, but I'm not really, really stopping completely. It's not like I have a punctured line or anything. It's just... Rough. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh my god, brakes. <laughs> keep keep forgetting about the brakes, dude. Sorry about the camera angle guys. I don't have any. <laughs> don't forget about the brakes. Oh, she's driving, she's driving. All right, back up right here. This is just says driving it. Uh, brakes, you know, just uh, trying to scratch off some checklists of some of the things that it needs. She doesn't need power, but she's got plenty of it. So. But she doesn't need brakes. I am. I'm gonna move this truck out of the way because <laughs> she slides. Today I am bringing a trailer. Uh, we just removed the floor, so we're gonna use that as a toy or a car hauler. Um, car hauler? Car hauler! <laughs> I'm just excited about this truck. Uh, I wanna take it out into the street, but the brakes are really bad. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I'm thinking about it, but I shouldn't. I don't even know how much gas I have, so that's another thing. I'm gonna put it on the checklist. Bring some gas, check the brakes. Check the brake fluid, maybe it's just fluid. Uh, some other things. I wish I could tell you how the water temperature is. The, the fans are running. Uh, I did just put some water in it, just plain ass water. Uh, so we're good on that. Uh, it's just gas, just maybe bring a container with gas and just check the brakes. Other than that, Vexy is alive, guys. Vexy's alive. All right, no dogs around. She has an exhaust leak. And I'm considering taking out this engine and tranny and harness and slapping it into something else. This is such a beautiful truck. What do you guys think I should do? Oh, man. So, let, me, let me get out. Let me show you guys. All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, Vexy. Ah, she still look good. Yeah. Look at those, uh, you can hear the electric fans all the way out here. Body is pretty good. Vexy has a nice body. Look at this rear end. Show me, Vexy. Show me. Yep. Yep. She wants to be in the street. I just abandoned her. I'm sorry, Vexy. I'm just. Ah, oh, man. Just look at her. Would you look at that? <laughs> Oh man, the engine, I'm surprised with those spark plug wires. 
but even with the gas the old gas that it has I, I'm pretty sure it's almost a year old without even cranking it once damn she sounds nice she sounds why did I stop using it I don't know I just parked her I mean I just parked her and just gave up on her nothing down there no water no oil she sounds really healthy I think I even have look at those LEDs in there these are super bright at night this will bring back the day and I've got the low and high beams I hope they still work if not I'm just talking nonsense here but oh, look at that I'm really excited, really excited. I remember I had also did the little, well I've got the four high mod and over here in the parking lights or whatever, I also connected them together so whenever you do put the blinker, uh, they flash, something like that. What do you guys think? Is she a beaut? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Alright, alright. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, I'm gonna park her to a side. Today I'm bringing a trailer. <clears throat> it's a trailer. Uh, we can maybe fit some cars on top of. Some mid-size. Maybe some full size, not not as wide as this one, because this one has some you know wide tires and the truck itself is pretty big. So I'm not sure if it'll fit on top. But we just uh, we just bought some some wood for the floor, some two by ten by sixteen feet long, and we're gonna put a new flooring on the trailer. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of paint on the trailer, not not the truck, on the trailer. But I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of paint and then I do have some plans I've been thinking about um, and I'll, I'll talk more about those plans but I still have a lot of projects in you know on my list but it's always nice to scratch off some of the things that I've always you know not always but like that I've been planning on doing but I guess just money just becomes really tight and like I don't know I don't know that's gonna be it guys, that's gonna be it. Damn, she's a monster. I used to have some 35s and I used to have her lifted. When it rains, it rains, man. And I know you guys have seen some of my Instagram posts or maybe on the YouTube videos where when it rains, it's it floods, man. But I remember the last plans I had for this one was to get a flip kit and some drop spindles and whatever just to lower it. I wanted some, those are 20s by 10, so I wanted either skinnier tires and I don't know what, but oh man, Lexi, bringing memories. Alright guys. <laughs> All right guys, so that just brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> She's alive and I'm really excited for her. So that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to start her and just move her around, but I just wanted to show you guys, she's still alive. She's still alive. She doesn't want to give up. So, I mean, I don't know why. My, I, my plans are just to rip that engine and tranny and put it in another, uh, in another body. But, you know, just listening to her, just on. You know, it's such a unique style the paint is just nice and I could just wash her and you know polish her right here on this corner of the bed with the tail light one day I <laughs> I let I let my wife borrow the truck and I told her I woke up and I told her hey be careful park away from all the vehicles and park away from everybody you know when you go out to lunch just be careful and all that she comes back home and she scratched it but the paint is the least of my worries I mean I do a lot of stuff myself 
and I'm just really happy that you know she still hasn't given up so that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate all of you guys watching my videos and I hope to see you on my next one so that's it peace out